Hey, it's Ikeus. You know, I record these videos over and over again, and it gets tiring. I haven't made a video in a while, and I'm sorry about that, but it's mainly because it takes me a while. Like, I just feel very, like, not confident with, with these things, so it's like, kind of difficult at times, and especially recently it was. And with, Mer with Mercury Retrograde right now, my mind feels like it's on autopilot and I'm just saying whatever. And I'm not really communicating well, and I'm finding it hard to kind of discuss my ideas. Especially like right now. Usually that does happen because my Mercury is in the 8th house. But right now especially, I don't really feel like I can just discuss everything that is in my mind, so... Let's hope this is the last video I record for this video. If that made sense. <laughs> so I just want to talk about um, the sun in the 12th house. When that is, you know, when the sun's transiting your 12th house. This is not for sun in the 12th house natives. This is more for, you know, the people who are having the sun transit the 12th house. I'm dealing with that right now. So that's why I want to talk about it, you know, from like March 23rd or something to May, ten May 10th. The sun is in my 12th house, so, you know, with that being said, that is a long time. <laughs> that is a long time. That's all I have to say. My 6th and 12th houses are massive. And... Obviously my 5th and 11th houses are too, but I think my 6th and 12th houses are more big than my 5th and 11th. Be even though my 5th and 11th take up a whole entire sign, <laughs> but that's really not the point here. Um, with 12th house transits, um, you know, whatever that planet or astral body uh, represents, when that goes in your 12th house, it kind of... Um, shifts a focus to be more selfless with that planet in that energy or to be um, I guess more reflective about it. So with the Sun, I don't know if I'm gonna make this for every planets, but with the Sun in general when this goes in the 12th house, this is your ego, your identity. So you focus on the year that you've had from where your ascendant is to like where your 12th house starts. You know, most of that, most of a year basically. You, like 11 months in general, maybe 10 months, maybe a little less than 11 months. You know, it depends on the chart, but you know, from the time you're ascendant to your 12th house, whatever you've accumulated through that time, <laughs> um, maybe some other traumas are there too, or experiences that you just haven't gotten over. Um, th those can also be there too, but mainly whatever you've experienced in the past year that your son went into the first house at first, then, you know, all those experiences and stuff you've learned and stuff you you know, wish you didn't see and stuff you wish you saw and just, you know, what could I have done better? What could I have... It's all a mess in Neptune's fog. And when the sun enters the 12th house, you enter into that fog of all of these things. And you try to sort them out so you can focus on yourself again when the sun enters in your first house once again. So with that being said, you know, sun transiting the 12th house, you're just tying up the loose strings. Because that's what really happens during any sort of Pisces season, I guess. You tie up loose strings, you uh, focus on being selfless, you focus on <laughs> the more deeper sides to yourself. That's just what ends up happening. So with the sun here, obviously, you're looking at the ego's flaws and all of that fun jazz within yourself. And you're kind of just trying to summarize everything <laughs> that you didn't really want to think about during the cycle of 
fact, since your son transited in the first house last year, well, around last year, you know, all that stuff from then to now, you're kind of summarizing everything and trying to find, you know, okay, what could I do better? How can I get over this? How can I get over that? What is holding me back and how do I, you know, gain confidence again? This is a time where you're more tired also. You know, the sun is all about vitality. You know, it is one of those placements. It is a fire planet, well, fire astral body. It is ruled by Leo. It is a giant star in the sky. I mean, I, I don't know that, that it's obvious. Along with that, obviously, you know, there is Mars and there is um, Jupiter too. Obviously Mars is ruled by Aries and Jupiter is ruled by Sagittarius along with Pisces. Um, but it's mostly ruled by Sagittarius because Pisces has Neptune as their main OG planet, so <laughs> basically. <laughs> with that being said, you're just, you know, trying to get back to your vitality that relates to your ego, you know, yourself. What makes you, you? What, how can you improve on you? How can you put yourself aside when you have to? And that's basically what ends up happening. Um, with that being said, you're also very tired during this time because obviously a sub, this is a subconscious house, this is a dream house. It's just kind of all over the place in general. So you kind of feel all over the place and you do get more um, tired. You know, it's just very, it's not necessarily stressful, but it is confusing because all of this stuff is regurgitated and you don't know how to sort it. It is all over the place. This is not sixth house stuff where everything is organized. You know, Virgo is organized one. Um, they are anal about organizing shiitake mushrooms and they know how to get their shiitake mushrooms done. Pisces is the more artistic one, you know. Virgo's sister is the opposite of organized. So you have to find your way in this foggy mess that you see. And again, I've kind of, I've experienced this for a good 19 years for more than a month, basically. You know, like March 23rd to May 10th. Oh boy. Like, around that time. Obviously, it could be March 22nd to May 9th. Like, but still. I don't know the exact dates, but those seem like, I guess, around the exact dates. You know, 1 degrees Aries to 19 degrees Taurus. You, um, you calculate that yourself if you want to. But usually during this time, you know, you have to expect that you might need to drink a little more coffee and that you, you know, need to take some more time to yourself and realize that, you know, you need to solve some things in the back of your mind before you move forward. There are things that are holding many people back. Okay, either it's in the distant past or the recent past. It is either flaws or it is just a little voice in the back of someone's mind saying, you can't do that. So with that being said, just there could be many things in the 12th house. You know, not everyone deals with the same issues and not everyone <laughs> can put the same things in their 12th house as other people. So that being said, the 12th house is just all about those things. Things that you just leech onto that you shouldn't, you know. It's the demons that tell you, um, so to say, that you can't do this. Um, you know, it's low self-confidence, low self-esteem, all that fun jazz is... It could be traumas that you don't want to deal with. It could be experiences you don't want to deal with. It's just anything you don't want to deal with and you don't want to face directly. But you got to one day. And your ego, when it goes into your 12th house, 
it is going to face all those things, all of those flaws. And like I said, this is the basis of your per well, I didn't say it, but, well, maybe I did in another video, but the sun is the basis of your personality. So other things can, um, I guess, come through during this time, you know, and be like, hey, you also forgot about this. It doesn't necessarily have to do with your own egotistical flaws, but it has to do with things that you need to deal with in general. So, like I said, some people leech on to the past, some people leech on to the future and how the frick that will go. But whatever you're leeching on to, that's all 12th house stuff. And when 12th house transits happen, you have to configure those things out for sure. So yeah, that is just all I have to say. I don't know if that made sense. You know, Mercury's in retrograde. I kind of want to put something up because I don't know if I can go on YouTube again. So that's what's up with this. Wishing positive vibes on you dudes. What was this? Am I going to the Hunger Games? Is that the Boy Scout salute? I forgot. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you have a lovely day. Peace out, hug a tree. Um, I'm gonna go now. <laughs>